Hi guys and welcome again to another video. Hope you're all doing well. In this video I'm drawing a picture of a knight and that's because I joined uh, Zeronis's server on Discord and he often does like these design challenges where you've given a couple of pictures and then from there you are expected to create uh, some sort of design. Now I don't usually uh, join these kind of uh, design challenges because the time limit was kind of small, it was like a week only and I'm just like yeah there's no way I'm gonna be able to make something in a week. Uh, but then I got sent a um, private message by one of the people on the server who said that they'd want to see uh, what kind of design I could come up with and you know because I'm a sucker for flattery of course I took them off their offer. I think it was because I kind of started giving a lot of critique to everybody on the server, so that's kind of <laughs> piqued people's interest. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, my entry for the challenge. It's not, again, there's no like reward or anything, no winners. It's just personal challenge. Um, by the time that um, I was sent to DM and decided that okay I could probably you know wipe something out it was like three days left on this challenge and I was kind of like okay <laughs> I don't think I can do something in three days uh, but I did this in three days which is quite amazing um, I I'm sort of grateful that I actually joined the challenge because it made me realize that I'm actually far more capable than I thought I was I was like, yeah, no way I can do something uh, in this little time. But the fact that I was actually able to was pretty, pretty nice. Um, so yeah, uh, I did like for this because I had so little time when I sketched this. Normally I do like thumbnails and, um, you know, try out several poses. But for this one, I literally went with the first thing I got. And then I just cleaned it up and I was just like, holy shit, the anatomy is not even like, there. there's nothing inherently wrong, despite the fact that there was like no planning whatsoever for this work, which is something that I again usually do. Uh, so in that regards, I'm pretty, pretty proud, um, I guess you could say. So uh, in this video, I figured that we could talk a little bit about designing and just kind of like how I approach designing. I always used to think that um, designing was talent that you either had or didn't have. Despite the fact that I knew that art was something that you could improve on, but for some reason design just seemed like it was such a foreign thing that you either could do it or you couldn't do it. Till later on I realized that actually you can learn designing as much as you can learn everything else. So, um, so the reference pictures that we had for this was a helmet and a orange slash yellow uh, tracksuit. So the first thing I immediately thought when I saw the references, I was like, okay, fencing. That, that's the first thing I thought of and that's kind of the um, visual image that I went for. I wanted to do this sort of fencing, very light, uh, she doesn't really have a lot of armor as you can see. It's mainly like if you look at fencing, they have their white suits and they actually have like a chest armor which she does not have or the chest protector plate, whatever the fuck that is called. Uh, she has nothing because she's a strong magical warrior <laughs> and does not no need no protection on her most vital organs but yeah um, but yeah the whole idea is that you know the main thing is meant to be on her face you know the fact that that's like the only thing that's really covered and the rest of her is very very light I like to think of designing as um, in a scale of like practicality versus fashion uh, things high in practicality are, well, just as the you know name kind of suggests, uh, practical designs are basically designs that are, you're gonna look at them and you're like, okay, how well does this fill its purpose? Like, is this outfit good for the purpose that it's being used? Um, 
and that's kind of like the practicality and fashion is just well fashion it's just things that look nice and I generally see myself as more like a practical uh, designer in a sense that I like more practical designs like if you look at this it's should have I'd say that this one is quite 50 50 maybe even more towards fashion uh, but it has like very practical elements first the armor is not heavy um, the armor is very very light if you look at her um, if this was worn by a real person you would probably be quite comfortable um, not sure about the helmet <laughs> how comfortable that would be to wear but generally it would not be uh, too heavy uh, you could probably move in it and stuff like that now things that makes it impractical is obviously cape um, that's kind of in the way if we are being completely realistic but this is where the fashion comes things have to be uh, if you go like perfectly practical designs you're gonna end up with very boring designs. so you know there has to be some lean way to just be fashionable make things look nice just because they look nice it's great if you can explain like the design and you know what purpose everything has uh, but sometimes it's okay to just have something because you think it looks good and maybe the character thinks it looks good so uh, yeah uh, in the reference pictures she was wearing or the reference girl she had like this gray sweater 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 um, <laughs> and um, I was kind of trying to emulate the shape a little bit so as you can see uh, from her design is that it kind of splits into these groups of colors I'd say it's like good 70% um, like the lower part is like the orange the long part and then it's like you know 15% uh, you know gray and then we are excluding the cave here and then you know the hair is like the rest and then maybe the sneakers so there's like an obvious split between each element and that's kind of how I like it I think it, it makes uh, designs really dynamic when you have like each uh, design element has its own I guess percentage and usually when things are like 50 50 and two equal they look kind of uh, dumb so Usually it's kind of advised that when you design, just like a little pro tip, uh, don't make things split from the middle. So if you have like a armor, for example, and you have like a shirt, a shirt and a pants, if the shirt is equal length to the pants, it's usually gonna look kind of uh, dull and shapeless. So having things like vary in size automatically makes things far more interesting uh, so yeah uh, the uh, top of her was meant to emulate the shape of the sweater but I also just generally like having um, main details in one area where it really draws your attention like if you look at this character you can obviously see that what draws your attention is like her chest area you know because that has the most details it has the shorter shorter uh, shoulder plates and double that and then the brooch and uh, brooch, brooch I cannot speak today I'm so sorry and um, you know the little ruby and you know all the embroidery in her cape and uh, the you know helmet and the turtle neck thingy in her helmet <laughs> but then the the rest of uh, the design is like very very simple the sneakers don't have anything the um, the tracksuit itself barely has anything it has like two white lines and that's it so me personally my personal opinion I like it when details are focused on one point because it amplifies them in my opinion it kind of brings them forward and it makes you appreciate every detail that there is because they look nice 
uh, when it's contrasted with something that's plain and doesn't steal your attention. So um, when she's wearing like a simple and plain uh, tracksuit, and then you combine that with um, the details of the uh, helmet and the armor, it automatically like makes the armor look. It, it sort of plays full with you. It makes the armor look far more detailed than it actually is because it's contrasted with something that's very dull and plain. If her whole if she was wearing an armor that would be whole body armor, you know, and it would be fully detailed. It would actually look really messy and just kind of scratchy and not very nice looking because when the detail is everywhere, it's kind of like it be nowhere. <laughs> So personally, pick and choose your places. Uh, some people love a gluttery mess. So when it comes to designing, it's a little bit hard to say what's like right or wrong because there's so many different ways to do it. Uh, it's more about your intention. I'd say, of course, generally kind of want, uh, you might want to think, what do you want your design to represent? Um, if I think of her as a character and what her role is, I kind of see her sort of ceremonial she she's not the sort of battlefield um you know kind of knight you know definitely she's palace guard kind of knight you know graceful she has that cape she's very dignified she looks like someone who's who's uh you know a noble guard or you know um knight to the princes or the royals or whatever that that's what she looks like not like bloody and dirty on the battlefield but like graceful and dignified uh, on the palace you know taking care and that's kind of uh, why you can sort of excuse the fact that she doesn't really have any protective layer that's also what I feel like you kind of want to take account like the purpose of the knight because if we say that she's like a fantasy knight and she was someone who's actually on the battlefield um, now sure you could say that well it's magic or well she's you know fast she doesn't need protection but this knight has so many unnecessary elements for battlefield that it would mean it, it would kind of be a bad design frankly if this character was taken to a bloody battlefield <laughs> so uh, if you think of her like a palace guard, a knight on the palace, she automatically kind of sells that idea. That's also the sort of uh, say that you cannot see her face. So she's sort of anonymous, which makes her even more like mysterious and sort of strong and intimidating in a ways. Uh, which I believe that sort of amplifies the whole uh, she's like this tough palace guard and you cannot really see her. She's like nameless and faceless but at the same time her posture like posture sells everything you know the fact that she stands straight and has her sword out like that's that's um what gives her power not really her face or expression or any of that uh so yeah generally i don't think i have um that much else uh, there's a little tita with the ponytail uh, that's her own hair so the ponytail comes out of the helmet so that's not because some helmets have like their own hair which is a little funny but they have like this tucked in hair but no that's meant to be like authentic real hair that's a little detail right there uh, the cape is meant to be sort of see-through it's um, so it's like a gray see-through, it has like golden embroidery, but because it's me, um, it's like messy and non-coherent, but it sells the illusion, so it works fine. Um, and what else? I don't really think I have much of else. I'm finishing the last touches with the sword. I think I explained a little bit about the design and that should be fine. Um, I hope you liked the video. I have another design video coming up, so you know. Anyway, uh, this picture is pretty much ready, so bye-bye! Um,